This shoe is a Tokyo based colorway with red, white, and blue. Okay. What's going on everyone? My name is John, you're watching Soul Post and it's another Soul Post unboxing. Today we take a look at the Adidas NMD R1 Tokyo. Now this shoe is a part of the Tokyo pack along with two other shoes that released exclusively as you would have guessed in Tokyo late last year. It was one of those shoes that wasn't super hard to get so it wasn't like the prices were exuberant or anything but it was just a nice solid looking colorway and uh, it actually reminds me of an interesting take on the NMD R1 OG colorway. In my personal opinion if they were going to keep this as an exclusive and with the way they released it I think they should have waited at least another year or two instead of kind of like pushing it out along with the rest of the adidas retros that they've been doing with the ultra boost line you know there are plenty of shoes that don't make a state side release at all so i'm glad this at least made the release uh, no matter how soon it came first let's take a look at the box the box is a gray box with the three stripes going down and you also got the adidas tree foil logo on the side panel and you also got the adidas with the three stripes branding uh spiel that they do in the various languages and you've also got the three stripes branding uh, from the top of the shoe box. And the colorway is black, white, and red. Now let's take a look at the shoe. The shoe features a mostly black colorway with blue, white, and red hits. Taking a look at the toe, you've got the black knit toe, and this is not prime knit, which is a big shame. That's how the OG release came. And you've also got this black lining on the toe cap, kind of separating the toe uh, from the tongue. Taking a look at the tongue, you've got the black tongue with the tongue tag also in black and the blue tree for a logo. You also got black laces. The insole is black with the exposed boost and the boost logo in white. Moving towards the heel, you've got the black knit base with the blue, white, and red three stripes branding. The heel is black with the black rubber overlay panel and you've got the black and white pull tab that says Le Marc U Three Bonds, which is the brand with the three stripes. And on the right shoe, you have the words, the brand with the three stripes. So it in English. The medial is identical to the lateral. So you've got the black knit base with the red, white, and blue three stripes logo. You have the white boost midsole with the red EVA insert and the black EVA insert more towards the front of the shoe that says Adidas. And you've got the black outsole with the white exposed boost. And you've got the blue panel that features the Adidas branding. Um, this is a decent colorway. It's real nice, clean, subtle, not very loud. But um, I do wish that this shoe featured prime it instead of the regular knit. Um, that's always a big shame, especially when great colorways like this or clean colorways come out. It's not prime knit because then you just kind of like... Ah, you know, that extra comfort that Primate gives is uh, unquestionably unmatched. That's my only gripe about the shoe is that it's not Primate. But outside of that, it's a super solid shoe. Now let's get some detailed looks at the shoe and I'll catch you after the jump. Ryan Little. <laughs> The 
Adidas NMD R1 Tokyo is now available at select Adidas retailers and adidas.com for a retail price of $130. All right, everyone, this has been another Soul Post unboxing. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you kept up with everything we do on the Soul Post channel. Check out the soulpost.com for more news, features, and purchase links for all the shoes we feature on the channel. Also, you can follow us everywhere at the Soul Post. I'm John from Soul Post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.